I investigated the circuit a little bit and found out that there are two uh, multiplexers, uh, eight, uh, well, not really multiplexers and colders. Let me show you how they work. A bit like multiplexers, but uh, it, it basically outputs uh, the, the text eight bits as an input. Bit input and tells you uh, uh, which of the most significant bit is on. So uh, it, it basically encodes into three bit. Uh, most significant bit. So if you have something like, let's say, a uh, signal like this, uh, so the, here is an 8 uh, as an input, uh, it on the output would simply decide this is the most significant bit, so uh, it will set the free bit uh, output to, uh, let's see, uh, that would be uh, seven, right? So <laughs> I needed to check that. So this is numbered from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six is in, in this low, basically low, and uh, this is most significant bit, so uh, it's a TTA value, so it's negated, and uh, on sixth position, it's on the output uh, low, low, high. So uh, low, low, and high. It, it would be something like that. Uh, so one less than uh, the, the maximal value of seven. Okay, so well, that that's pretty simple. There are two circuits like that, and also this is an end uh, quad. Uh, Two inputs and the gate. So internally, it looks something like uh, this, and another one. This is a plus, minus, and here are two additional gates. So the end gate basically what it does if the two inputs are high, so uh, basically have. Uh, are shorted to ground. Uh, that that then and this uh, then it will short to ground this input. So basically, if I put one and one here, I will get one over here. But if I put one and zero here, I will get a zero, and zero zero will give me uh, of course zero zero one will give me also a zero on the output. That's pretty simple. Uh, okay, so uh, why, why did the, the, there are no microprocessors? So this cannot be directly well, used with the USB or something like that. Some of the game controllers uh, were uh, in fact prepared for the USB output and they also sent some signals to make the converters e e e well, easier to do. Uh, so. Uh, well, it, it, that's not the case over here, it's pretty straightforward. The reason they are using the uh, two encoders and also a uh, uh, the uh, quad uh, end gate uh, is because they are, have to encode the hat signals uh, onto the uh, Onto the four buttons, so you only has have four inputs uh, outputs from the uh, on the game pa gamepad or connector. So only four buttons, but they have to encode somehow the hat on the on the descent. And I will show you in a moment how, how they did this. And uh, let me switch this up a bit. This only works when you have a 5 volt input, so I use my power bank over here and as you can see uh, all, input, uh, all dials are high on the 4 buttons, that means none is pressed. Uh, so 5 volts CTL value, uh, it basically means a 0. If I press button 1, the trigger, yeah, the light goes off, this is the second one, third one and the fourth one. And let me show you how they did the head. Uh, this is up, all are pressed, down, all but uh, button 4 are pressed, left, 
uh, button three, uh, I mean button one and two is pressed, and right button one, two and four is pressed. So uh, oh, uh, the, 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 the thinking about this is done on, on the software side, on the driver side, uh, and and basically if you have a proper driver uh, with with this, then you will be able to get the head values. And, and and that they were pretty common among some of the controllers, as you can see here. But that the problem with this is when I try to press first button and the second button. See, the first button is the priority, so I'm not able to emulate the hat anymore. And the, the, I have a problem when I want to press two buttons at once. Yeah, I have to take the, the, this is the priority, the numbering. Uh, so if I press three and yeah, see, one or two, it takes the priority. It, it's not possible to like simulate the hat button and you can all, only use one button at a time. And I, I don't really like this idea. Uh, well, in, in any simulation you should be able to, you know, uh, let's say you want to uh, track some, some objects and then fire. And as you can see, it will break your let's say tracking button so that's not really a great idea uh, you can turn off the hat let me show you that uh, okay it should be off yeah see nothing happens and now you can use all four buttons individually and they will also may act like a hat but it, well now it doesn't use the encoders and 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 those uh the the end gate basically it, it's a straight input into the oh into the output right here uh, so you either get uh, the hat functionality or uh, you are able to use multiple buttons at once uh, the, the the other thing is the, uh, the the but but you still can use the uh, trouble uh, and, and and stuff like that individually but well you have to choose right and and i don't think that's a good idea let me show you on the pad i will take apart later on uh how i would like this to work is basically to map uh the d pad to the head and those four front buttons to the four buttons and uh, this would be the uh the main stick and this would be the throttle uh, so so it would work much better uh, I still don't know how I will do with the analog but well, we will see about it later on uh, and, and, and that's basically it uh, so so I will try to I, I will probably remove all the old stuff all the electronics disconnect all of this uh, connect this directly uh, to the to this because I'm not really sure if this would take the TTL values because basically if this is not pressed this would mean that there is a uh, five volts connected also I'm not sure how how the uh, if the potentiometers over here are exactly the same values hopefully they do uh, I can show you one thing more. Yeah, as those things, as you can, uh, let me just switch it a bit. How the calibration was done back in the day. Okay, so this moves the whole potentiometer. <laughs> See that? So it basically changes the value because moving it also will yeah, move the slider on the potentiometer, but this basically changes how, how the partition meter is situated and the, the, this is how they did the manual calibration without any fancy electronics I also noticed they uh, made an error and uh, the throttle on and off uh, is switch over here and so, so that uh, can be also an issue I wanted also to check the uh, oh, let me just back to the camera uh, the auto fire functionality but I'm not really sure if this will show on the diodes okay so auto fire is on yeah 
it basically changes the intensity. Not really sure if you can see that. I will turn on to light. Yeah, now you should be able to see this. It only changes the intensity. There is also a second value for, for the auto fire. Okay, so it's much slower. You can see the flashing. Maybe with the light on would be better. Okay, yeah, the flashing is better. I'm not really sure if I will keep the auto fire feature. Okay, just in case you would decide to uh, oh, basically substitute the driver and actually use the uh, game controller outputs, how would you do actually do that uh, to parse the head outputs? And so I basically wrote out the what, what the combination of the buttons are for uh, for each direction. So uh, what what you can do is simply make a table out of it. So let's say uh, up and this would be one, two, three, four button. And up, down, left, and right. Uh, so up, this means it all there once. And down, one, 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 zero, left, one, one, zero, right, one, one, yeah, zero. So okay. yeah. Well, if I would have to decide how to do those combinations, uh, I, the up is perfectly fine, down seems also fine, right, well, it's, it's valid, and but left is kind of weird because you, you are pressing two buttons. So because the driver on the game port, I mean on the on your computer, wouldn't be able to differentiate if you have turned on or off the head. And uh, th that's why, you know, if you turn off the head and you press two buttons on the driver's side, uh, uh, well, the, basically it, it would receive uh, the input as you would press left on the head. So that's kind of weird. I, I would go with something like one, three, four. But if you look at this table, you can, well, you, you can see uh, this part, this part is important. As you can see, like hat enabled, right? So one, two is always on. And here are the combinations. One, 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 zero, oh, 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 one. So, uh, Basically, to, to make a circuit, a uh, logic circuit, circuit uh, to make sense of this, you would basically have to uh, have a, this could be an enable pin. Uh, so I would go with something like one and two, and these are my two lines. I would put there an end gate, and this, the, this is the most important part because if this is not true, then I won't do anything about the rest of this. Uh, so, uh, at least in this instance. Uh, so then, uh, I would have something like this. If uh, 3, uh, let's, let's, let's do something like that, 3 and 4 are also, let's have a longer lines, uh, are also ones, then, and also, I would have an end gate right here, so something like that, right? Then, simply, this means, the, the output means this is up. The, that would mean the up pin. Uh, similarly, to, similarly to this one, but in this case, I would have a, this would be small gate, so something like that, right? And then three and four, three is still one. So this would be a big gate. Uh, three is still one. But the four is through the negator. So like so. And uh, this would go. Uh, this would be down. That that that's that would that that's, it seems pretty simple. Uh, and. Uh, about left and right, uh, I would simply go like, uh, and well, uh, what, what what you can do here is, uh, is also substitute some of the or some of the gates. Uh, I think you can use a, a XOR gate here, 
I'm not really sure. Uh, you, can, you can look around with uh, how you can solve this with an XOR gate. Uh, that's, that's an exclusive OR and mess around with the gates. But uh, I guess if you had some chips and uh, most frequently used chips are the negators at the actually the NAND gate, but in, in this case you would probably use an AND gate to make it all simpler. Uh, so uh, let's see. And here left, so for my it would be uh, three and four would be through the negators. So let's let's take a negated three and after the negator. Right, something like that. I would also take an input from here and put it for another end gate. That would be my left and my right. Uh, this is my other. Uh, okay, so let me take this input. Uh, that, that, that's this one, right? Uh, so, and this one, that's my second gate. So that would be right. And input on this is zero on three. So let's let's take it from here. And one on four. Let's take it before the uh, not gate. So in this instance, I would have to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, let's call it ten. Uh, mm, ten end gates and only two negators. Uh, yeah, that, that, that seems fine. So mm, uh, you probably would be able to find a simple uh, chipset with uh, eight or four end gates and use it around to build up this, this simple circuit. Uh, so, so, so yeah, and you can always connect the output. So, uh, in this instance, only on one of these inputs would be an one and uh, uh, so, but uh, they can also be a zero on all of them. So, well, I guess if, well, he, here we have nine end gates, I guess the simple so solution would be use, uh, it would be use three chips of quad two input end gates. Uh, similarly to one used in the joystick and one chip, uh, I think on the one chip there are four NOT gates, so uh, the, so you would have to use four chips basically. So well, the building a simple circuit like that should be easy enough, but I, I guess this solution isn't, isn't really great and it it takes a lot of work to process all of this and well, actually the component count is uh, uh, pretty high because you have four chips and uh, although it, this is, actually gives you versatility to use the output of the uh, game port to uh, connect it to the other USB peripheral uh, so, so it can process the data.